Hello everyone and welcome to my coloring corner. This is Flips and Fun Stuff Friday and we are going to have a fun time today. We've got two different flip throughs that we're going to do today. Uh, first one is going to be the uh, Christmas Fun 2 because it's a big one. And then I will do a second recording for the Vintage Christmas Gnomes. So uh, I will do one at a time so that you know you're not having to watch a really long video all at once. This is a very large book so it will be a little bit longer than most flip throughs. Now this is Kimberly Hawthorne. It is the Christmas Fun 2 uh, Merry Christmas and it is 75 grayscale coloring pages. So it's a nice thick book. And I hope you guys can see them all. So this one here is a um, mantle with the stockings and the Christmas tree. Very nice looking living room setting for Christmas. And of course we've got the snowman. She does have another book uh, in this series called Christmas Fun. And that is looks like a picture very similar to another one that she has in her original book her first book can't say original book because they're all original books but her first book and this is a wonderful bear shopping store with a lovely little girl and her puppy and her sled you know pulling her teddy bears and then we've got Santa with all the fox and or the wolf or wolf. I don't know if that's a fox or a wolf. It's got a fox face though. Wolves are a little bit a little bit wider. Could be a wolf. Lovely animals. <laughs> and we've got a lovely river with the snowman. Some beautiful winter scenes. And then we've got Santa and a kitty kitty. But some of the scenes in here are so, so nice. There's a lot of snow and uh, that sort of thing, but so many lovely winter scenes. And of course, you know, when you color snow, you color snow the same way you do on a snowman. You color your darker areas in purples and blues, really pastel -y blue colors, so it looks like ice and trampled snow. Absolutely fantastic. Oh. Wonderful scene. And here is a lovely Christmas morning scene with the rocking horse. And a wonderful mother and baby I don't know I think it may be Mother Mary and the baby Jesus but you never know and then they she's also got some really fun ones like Santa and Rudolph in the hot tub and here's another wonderful Christmas landscape scene And a window. Looks like a very magical Christmas window. And then she's got some wonderful tree ornaments. And different Christmas bells with different little scenes on them. Very pretty. And another mantle and Christmas tree wonderful lots of little things so many little details that you you will see more of as you as you're coloring uh, it may look very very detailed um, but as you're coloring and you start filling in those details it doesn't it becomes less daunting don't be afraid of the grayscale coloring it is not as difficult as you would imagine absolutely gorgeous picture 
And the reason why I really like Kimberly Hawthorne's books is because, like I said, you at the end of the book, it tells you how to download uh, the entire book as well as her colored art. So if you're confused on what something is, you can look at the colored art and see what it is and where it should be and how to color it. You know, so if there is a very detailed tree with lots of ornaments in it and stuff like that, you can, of course, look at her art and see what is what so that you know where things end and when, where new things begin and stuff like that. Another wonderful Christmas door. And Christmas in the bedroom with all the presents there. Lots of very old fashioned scenes. Wonderful piano. Oh, a lovely stocking with a Merry Christmas. And another Christmas tree. So as I was saying before, you can see there's different little tiny, tiny little things all the way through the tree. And if you look at her colored version, you can tell what each of those little things are so that you can you can better see what um, what she was meaning for it to be. Very, very pretty, very lovely little toy soldiers all all lined up and ready to play. Just so cool. And there's another Merry Christmas scene. Little bunnies, teddy bears. And then we've got our gingerbread type house with the candy canes and the icing. Very cool. And a lovely Santa's chair next to the tree. Nice log cabin, cabin looking room. And a wonderful Christmas angel with her lantern. And this is the picture from the front of the book. So of course you can refer to the front of the book if you don't download the other parts. And there is Santa putting stuff under the tree. He's got his sack of goodies, having a little rest, probably eating his milk and drinking his milk and eating his cookies. And this wonderful little girl got a puppy. And of course, a wonderful little buggy. Lovely winter scene. And a lovely front door. Lots of front doors. A cute little Christmas elf. Or gnome. I guess it'd be a gnome. And I've got the pages stuck. There we go. And a lovely Christmas basket full of goodies and all different toys. And we've got Santa and the reindeer and a sled full of toys. And some hot cocoa or coffee. And some cute little gnome ornaments. And then we've got a wonderful poinsettia flower and a cute little bird. All different uh, Christmas type ornamentation when you do a Christmas ornament. And a adorable bear and her cubs with the Christmas presents around them. And then a well, this one is is a little bit out of her normal coloring or drawing, but it's still fantastic. It's deer and some rabbits and jolly old Saint Nicholas there carrying the Northern Star and the little town scene below. Very, very nice. Then we're Santa and a kitty kitty and a puppy dog and a pig. <laughs> There's a piggy. There is a piggy in the living room. And some people keep piggies as pets. 
and that's really kind of cool oh and a parrot so I think this is Santa having a talk with all the pets you know like you take your pets for pictures with Santa I think that's uh, him having a discussion with them all about the way they behaved the last time they were visiting <laughs> Then we've got a wonderful drawing of Santa and the Frosty the Snowman having a jam out, singing Christmas carols. And there's Santa, old-fashioned Santa. I love the clothes he's wearing. Very, very nice. Leaving all the toys, presents. And another beautiful winter scene, looking out from the front door, watching the, their family coming up the drive. A horse and buggy. Then we've got Frosty and his family, even a little snow puppy. <laughs> and some wonderful toys. Lots of different little toys and dolls and candy canes and I'm slowly shoving the book so you can't see what is going on then we've got Santa talking to a polar bear he looks like he has him on a leash very very cool and the baby polar bear has a hat and a balloon by the looks of it that's kind of cool and I don't know where his sled is running off to without him. Then we've got some really cute bears and Santa and some cute toys. And another lovely winter scene. That looks like such a nice house to live in. And then we've got Santa stuck. Santa got stuck in the chimney. And he's left all his toys on the roof. So his bag must have fallen apart. Somebody shut the flu. And then we've got a interesting little Christmas tree ornament. It looks like a house with a fireplace and candy cane sticking out of it. And all different presents and Christmas balls. Very, very interesting. And it's on a sled. <laughs> and then we've got Christmas around the globe. Or a very interesting Christmas ball with a little road and a tr little house. And another little house. Then we have a wonderful, wonderful snowman with some bunnies and some birdies. And a Christmas stocking. And some wonderful Christmas bells. I love Christmas bells. I love the sound of Christmas bells. And an ice skate with a floral arrangement in it. So I don't think it's an actual skate. I think it's just a vase shaped like a skate. And then we've got Santa and his elves working on the toys in the workshop. And he's got slippers on. He's got Rudolph slippers. That's so cute. And another wonderful Christmas ornament. It's got different fruits and different berries, little presents. And then another wonderful front door with a snowman and a sled very very cute and another winter scene with the children and the puppy dog building a snowman watching the people coming up the drive with the s s sled and horse horse drawn carriage that's it beautiful little house and here is another beautiful little house the little brook. I almost think I've seen this one before, but it may have been different. And then we've got a 
fun, festive day. Kids out in the sleds and building snowmen and the animals in the barnyard there and all the decorations and the horse-drawn carriage and the tractors. It looks like everybody's having so much fun. Kitty kitty on the roof. <laughs> There's another kitty kitty there on the roof. No, that's a squirrel. <laughs> a little squirrel on the roof. And here we have another wonderful little cabin with Christmas lights in their front garden. Ooh, and a wonderful reindeer. That's a really nice looking reindeer. He's got a poinsettia on his antlers. And there's Santa with his reindeer and the children delivering gifts. And then Santa with all of the deer out in the wild because, you know, they deserve gifts too. And then we have a adorable snowman with his teddy bear. That is just so cute. Absolutely adorable. And another wonderful, wonderful picture inside of a vintage home with a very comfy looking chair. A little torn up, but very comfy looking. And then we have some wonderful gift tags that you can put on your gifts. And then Santa driving a rocket ship by the look of it. This must be the New Age ship, the New Age Santa sled without any reindeer. And then we have, of course, the babies fell asleep waiting for Santa. And another wonderful winter scene. They've got the house decorated, the snowmen in the front yard, the trees all decorated in the front yard. Wonderful little brook there that's all frozen and this looks like a downtown scene an old country stores uh, covered bridge sent uh, the snowman couple and all the decorations and then we've got some cute little owls some gingerbread men and a wonderful little present there different decorations and this cute little guy here I think he's a snowman he's decorating everything ready for Christmas and then we have of course uh, Mother Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus in the in the manger and that is the end of the book so what else does she have she also has some the how to uh, color your grayscale, the basic grayscale coloring instructions. Um, I used to follow these. However, I found that um, when it, she said to start in the lighter areas uh, with your foundation colors, I found that to be difficult because some areas you're not quite sure what they are. So I found it a little bit, little bit difficult. So, um, of course, watch the videos throughout the channel as well as other channels on grayscale coloring and uh, make your own judgments. You can also, of course, follow her coloring uh, instructions. I found them difficult to follow myself. And like I said, that's my opinion. So, And she gives it a wonderful color test page so you can test your different colors on the paper in the book. And then, of course, we have page after page after page after page of all of her wonderful books. And then, of course, she gives uh, uh, all of the different people that help contribute, as well as how to download or how to uh, contact her for your downloadable PDF book. And like I said, um, the PDF book comes with the different pictures fully colored for you so that you're able to follow 
along a little bit better on what things are when you have an, a really busy scene. Because sometimes the busy scenes can be very daunting. They can look very confusing if you don't have a guide on how to color that. And that is Christmas Fun 2, the adult coloring book. It has 75 grayscale coloring pages. It The art is done by Kimberly Hawthorne, a fantastic book. Her first book, Christmas Fun, was a wonderful book as well. Well, still is a wonderful book as well. Both can be bought on Amazon. And another place that you can buy them as well is in the back of the book here. Uh, um, maybe it's in the front of the book. Is coloring books for adults dot shop. So it's https colon backslash backslash coloring books for adults all one word dot shop. And you can purchase the books by Kimberly Hawthorne there as well. With that, I thank you very much for joining me on this wonderful Flip and Fun Stuff Friday. Of course, I will be back in a few minutes in a secondary video where we will go through vintage Christmas gnomes as well. I just don't want to make the videos too long for y'all. Of course, don't forget to join me tomorrow um, for the Saturday uh, color along. Um, I'm going to go through and talk about the Christmas party a little bit more. We are going to have a Christmas party on the 13th of December. And of course, I still want you all to do, to to put it out there that there is a challenge going on and there may be a prize for that challenge to get our subscribership up over a hundred. I want to be able to shorten my Earl a little bit so that uh, it's easier for people to find. So let's get up over a hundred. Uh, once we get up over a hundred, I will be opening a My Coloring Corner Facebook page so that I can have all of you join me as and uh, I can see all of the works that you guys are doing. You guys get to see my work in progress and my Saturday color alongs, but I don't get to see your guys's very much. So that is definitely something I am going to do as soon as I hit 100 subscribers. So I hope that you have all your friends join us, as many people as possible. I love to have people come and visit. Of course, always like, comment and subscribe. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, subscribe. Uh, ring the bell, make sure that you get all of the notifications. Of course, like all the videos that you enjoyed. If you don't like the video, don't like it. <laughs> That's all fine and good too. But make sure that you leave me a comment. Let me know that you were here visiting and uh, let me know what you like about the book or what you like about the video or which don't like so that I can change it. All right. Thank you so much for visiting, guys. You guys have a fantastic Friday, a wonderful weekend, and I hope to see you again soon. All right. Bye-bye for now.